But Einstein said, actually, the reason that this uh, object would want to be attracted to this central object is not because there's a force reaching out and grabbing it, but because our simulated star in the center of the solar system is actually curving all the space-time around itself, and because this space is now curved, if I were to take a planet and just let it go, it would fall into the star and burn up. Now, of course, our solar system doesn't look like that. We don't have the Earth falling into the sun because, of course, that would be the end of all life on planet Earth. So instead, when our solar system was forming, uh, all of the gas and debris started to coalesce into planets, and all of that uh, stuff had velocity, so it was already in motion. And so because it's already in motion, it just follows the curvature of space-time and continues to orbit around the sun. Now, of course, this one still fell in. That's because there's friction between this ball and between the, our simulated fabric of space-time. And that friction is stealing energy and causing it to slowly but surely fall into the center, as you can see here. Now, of course, in our real solar system, the Earth and the other planets do not fall in because of the absence of friction in our solar system. So as long as you can remove that friction, whatever velocity the planet has, it will maintain and it will continue in its orbit around the star.